So hey guys, welcome back to another weekly tech video. This week, I'm gonna be talking about my experiences of using an iPhone 7 as well as an iPhone 7 Plus. Now, before I start this video, I just wanna say a massive thank you to Vodafone for sponsoring this video and actually sending me out an iPhone 7 so I can actually take a look at that device and compare it to my iPhone 7 Plus. Now, both phones have been out for the best part of like six months now, so I'm not exactly gonna go for all the features because everyone will know exactly what an iPhone is and what iPhone 7 does different to an iPhone 7 Plus. I mean, if you don't, then we'll plan to be living on. This video is basically my experience of using that device and like helping people you know, deciding which one do I get? Do I get the bigger phone or do I get the smaller one? Like my mum is doing an upgrade now and she's in a dilemma of like, which one do I get, James? Do I get an iPhone 6S or do I get an iPhone SE? She's coming with the iPhone 5S. Does she stick with the smaller one or does she go a bit larger and get the bigger screen phone? And it's basically down to personal preference. I mean, the design of both phones is exactly the same. I mean, this design is flawless. Like this is an awesome, awesome design. Granted, this design hasn't changed much from the iPhone 6 days, but the only difference in the design is the camera. And that's the, basically the ultimate feature of the Plus is the camera. But both cameras are great. That's the thing. When I was using both phones, the camera on the 7 was, was great. It was the thing with cameras is they can only get so good. And I don't think they're gonna get any better for a while because like how good can they actually be? I mean, like this is awesome quality that I'm filming on right now, and I don't think phones are gonna get to this quality for a long, long time. So the question many people ask is do I get the plus model over the standard edition model? Which one do I get? Because I don't know if I'm gonna like having the bigger phone or would I prefer to have a smaller phone very much what I got now but then will I be missing out on the bigger phone experience and you are missing out on the bigger phone experience the plus model is hands down better at everything in terms of apps in my opinion I mean little things from like Facebook you go on your Facebook you can see more in your news feed without scrolling granted it's a bigger screen so you've got a bigger device to carry around having a bigger screen enables you to see more of your content on the screen obviously now that's not a bad thing in terms of the 7. The 7 has still got a great screen and it's still got a bigger screen than this predecessor in terms of the iPhone 5S and the SE models. And also convenience. Convenience is a massive thing. This phone fits perfectly in my hand and it's not a problem for me there. Whereas Hannah's got quite small hands and she doesn't really like the Plus model. It's quite small for her, you know? Now the smaller iPhone 7 model, yeah, it has a smaller screen. It's more portable. It's more convenient. It can fit in any pocket practically. It's only a little bit bigger than like the 5S and the SE models. If you was basing your decision on getting a phone based on the size and you just I can't stick a bigger phone I want a smaller phone I just can't stick having a big phone then just go for the 7 like you're still gonna get a great device you are you will be missing out on other features but at the same time if you get a 7 you're gonna be missing out on features on this because you're gonna be missing out on like the small the portability you know I wasn't gonna talk about features but I'm gonna touch on a few that make the plus better for me and the main one is battery life now the battery life on this phone is out of this world. I can go a whole day without charging this phone on moderate use. Now I'm quite a heavy smartphone user, obviously with Twitter and Snapchat and stuff like that. So on average, I can wake up in the morning at like 8 a.m. I'll have 100% battery and probably by about 3 p.m. I'll have about 30% battery on the Plus model. Then I'll recharge it and get back up to about 70. And then I'll probably go to bed and it'll be on like 40% by the time I go to bed. So the battery life on this phone is awesome. And I noticed that with the 7. I noticed with the 7 that when I was using the same sort of things that I was doing on the Plus model, that battery was dead by midday. So if you're a heavy smartphone user and battery life is a priority to you, then definitely consider the Plus model. But I don't really need to tell you much about the iPhones because I'm sure a lot of you know about them and you know about my experiences with them and you know that I am an avid iPhone user. So some people might think this is quite biased, but I do think iPhones are the best phones out there right now. You're making a good decision if you're watching this video and you're deciding which iPhone to actually get. Because I do, I generally do believe iPhones are the best phones out there. And it's not just about the brand of Apple. I know a lot of people have a lot of strong feelings about Apple and they just don't like how they work. But for me, I'm very open and honest. And I will talk to you guys about that in a different video, more in depth of my experiences with Apple and why I like Apple so much. But the ecosystem of Apple is just the best. And that's the best thing, best thing about it. Most apps come to the iPhone first, although Android is starting to catch up now and Android has come a long way. So if you haven't, go and check out my Android phone review videos. But either way, in my opinion, I prefer the Plus. I mean, I've got bigger hands, the battery life is amazing, and I can see more of my content on the screen. But the 7 isn't a bad phone. If you're going to get an iPhone 7, you're still going to get a great phone, but just be prepared to withdraw some of that battery life and the screen is obviously smaller, so you're going to see less of your content, but you're still going to be getting a great screen, a great camera, and a great phone. So yeah, there you go, guys. My name's been James, you've been awesome, and I'll see you, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.